tell me about your your ability, your uniqueness. What makes you unique? Um, I'm shorter than everyone else, if you can see. I stand at the height of four feet one inch. Each inch counts for me. So um, I come up to people's hips or sometimes butts, and um, I'm short. I have short bones. I have I stopped growing in fourth grade, and um, I look like anyone else, just in a shorter size and a shorter stature and everything. Yeah. And so, so. I asked you this, I think, a while ago, and so what do you prefer? If someone's going to call your disability or to label you, what is, what is the label? Is it, you said? I'm a little person, a little not person. a midget. Okay. Everyone says, are you a midget? No, I'm not. I say, no, that's not the right word. It's a little person or dwarf. And so would you, is it okay, like, for people to just ask you that question? Is that helpful? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just totally normal. Yeah. Okay. And so... What's the hardest thing about being a little person? Um, getting made fun of every day and waking up knowing that it won't be a normal day and I will get made fun of. Um, the hardest thing, knowing that I won't be treated equal and that I can't reach a lot of things that everyone else can reach. And um, I get my... Feelings hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. I try not to because I'm, I should be used to it by now because I'm 17. But um, my feelings do get hurt a lot of the time. Was there a specific time in school that was more difficult? Um, in elementary school, I thought it was difficult. In third grade was the time when everyone started growing and I stayed the same height. So everyone's like, I was... Before, like, before third grade was a time when I could be myself and no one really noticed me. Mm -hmm. um, I was like everyone else because I was the same size as them. But when everyone started growing in third grade, everyone was like, oh my gosh, like, what is wrong with her? Because they all started noticing. Mm -hmm. But in high school, there's a lot of questions. And um, it's hard, you know. It's a journey. It's a road that you take and... Whatever comes to me, I'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> and so did your mom and dad talk to you about what to expect? Did they tell you when you were little that you would be different? Or how does that, how did that transform? I think I just grew up because I grew up in um, Little People of America. It's an organization. And I grew up going to different things with mm -hmm. them. And so um, I kind of always knew I was different. I've never seen you be anything other but just hold your head up high and yeah. just fill That's a room with I laughter. Have to do. That's right, what I have to do. right, right. So. And I get that. When I would, um, when I was with Lauren, I knew when I walked in the door with Lauren, everyone was going to stare at me. Yeah. I knew I was going to um, have to change the room around to get in the room, and people were going to look at me and walk away, or people were going to ask me questions, or people would think things. And so I always had to kind of build myself up yeah. and um, hold my head up high. And um, it's tough some days. You yeah. just feel like just kind of sneaking in under the radar, being yeah. invisible. Or I know I did. Yeah. Okay, so what are the perks about um, your uniqueness? <laughs> I get away with not a lot of stuff, but some things. Um, my teachers are nicer to me. <laughs> People are nice. Like, not everyone is mean to me and make fun of me. Um, there's a lot that have a nice heart. Mm -hmm. And that accepts me uh, for being me and for being short. So um, a lot, like, will say, like, come up to me and say, give me a compliment when... They don't give other people compliments, which is nice. You know, I need that little boost in my life and in that day, which makes me, um, I don't know, appreciate myself and appreciate other people. How do you motivate yourself? Um, by people. By having those people that inspire me in my life. Um, I motivate myself by get, waking up and saying, this may not be the best day. I may get made fun of today, 
but I still have to have a smile on my face. I still have to show people that I am still a human being and I won't let them stop me from living my life like any other person out there. How do you want people to approach you? Um, just saying, hi, how are you? Not saying, what's wrong with you? Why are you like that? Were you born like that? It's more accepting. What hurts your feelings? Um, when people make fun of me, when people laugh and stare and take pictures. Yeah, when I get made fun of. And that, and when I know that I won't ever be accepted, and I really wish I would, and that I can go in any room. To see differently in the world. Um, people more accepted, not just to me, but people that may look um, different in general, that are in the wheelchairs, that are um, maybe don't have an arm or don't have a leg or that don't look normal to someone, that everyone's accepted. Everyone's nice to one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.